All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Another SEMA video here. As you can see out front, this is the SEMA show. Now we covered what happens at the Ford out front in the last video. Uh, so in this video, we're just gonna go over uh, some other hot topics that we saw while we were there at the SEMA show. Now there's tons to see out front and there's tons to see inside. So I didn't wanna stop and take up close videos of all these builds because they were pretty much littered all over the internet. And there's just so much to see you get pulled in all sorts of directions. But there is one vehicle that I wanted to show because I really liked it. And it is this truck by Pure Metal Works. Check it out. Now, another anticipated build that we definitely want to see belongs to TJ Hunt and it takes place here in Central Hall at the MagnaFlow booth. Oh, it's a Ferrari. Huh? It's a Ferrari scooter. It's a Ferrari scooter. That's the one I need right there. I saw this dude in a Ferrari scooter. <laughs> All right, guys, we've been walking for hours and uh, there's just a lot to take in, you know, first time being here. Uh, so we're currently at the McGuire's booth and the MagnaFlow booth. Right there, you got the TJ Hunt, CP Racing, uh, Lamborghini, and then he's gonna unveil his uh, new wide body C8 Corvette Street Hunters design. So we figured we'd let our dogs rest a little bit. So we've been walking, and uh, we'll watch this. <laughs> Actually, he's making faces at me. We're a little delirious because we spent a lot of time walking around Vegas last night. So walking around today has been quite a feat. So anyways, let's jump to this reveal. I just kind of want to start off by saying that this car, uh, I think, has my name attached to it. A lot of people here have my name attached to it, but this car really belongs to a handful of people. The Street Hunter team, uh, it is not me. It is a team of a bunch of people, amazing people who have dedication, creativity, hard work, that goes into everything. Uh, Dylan, Lee, uh, John, who has literally has been dealing with me. I have called John. John is our designer. And I called him probably once a week. I'm like, John, I have this idea. Can you just drop what you're doing and just like, let's just, let's just work on this really quick. Uh, and uh, all the guys at SOS, Lost Vlogs, Oscar, Saul, so many people. All the guys at HRE, MagaFlow, LMR. So I first want to start off and get the spotlight to them and say that this car really is here because of them. And uh, I might be here delivering it and I might draw attention, but that's like my main focus today. Uh, so I just want to give a round of applause for all of them here. Thank you. Street Hunter was actually born here two years ago, 2019. SEMA, we had the Street Hunter, which at that time no one had heard what it was. I think there was like 10 tandem rock bunny Supras, and then there was this one like Supra that was like built by some YouTuber and was kind of, kind of, I think we had a lot going for us that year and had a lot of pressure. And did the unveiling, and we got such a positive response. It was very overwhelming, very, very well accepted. We did really great, and then uh, from then we've been developing and really focused on the C8. So this kit right here is what we are calling our B1.5. So, you know, there is a red one that's already out, shout out to MPB, they have theirs here, there's another boy here with C8. Uh, so this one differs from that with a few extra pieces here. So the three pieces that are going to come out with this car is we have a new hood for this car we've been working on. Uh, so the hood, and then we also have what I think a lot of people on the internet have been seeing and are really excited about, which you can actually kind of see off the top is we have a uh, yeah, roof scoop, which I think is really cool. A lot of CA world really is excited about that. And then falling towards the rear of the car, we have uh, the new wing stands, which you can actually kind of see. And if you saw the vendors, that's been out for a bit. And we have our new M plates, and we have new uh, new uh, additions to the door here. So I'll explain everything and talk about it. Let's pull the sheet off, but. I think we should go ahead and just get on with it. Let's pull the sheet back and uh, yeah. do, do what we want to do. Do what you do. Do what you do. Do what you do. Do you have Ali on the help? Then help Ty. Did we start from the back or did we start from the front? The whole crew. The, the front? Peel it, peel it back the this way? The whole crew. <laughs> yeah, baby. Take, take the mirrors off first. We don't have the hard ones. I think we were getting this ready yesterday. 
No pressure, guys. No one's coming. So, uh, as we're talking about from the start here, so you can, uh, what different strong do you want if you want more five? Is we have a really awesome problem, which I think is everyone's eye catcher. It's one of my favorite pieces and additions that we have. Uh, you have two double double bands really came off of the four that I stuffed out. That's kind of looked really uh, cool to the hat of the Ferrari that we had out here two years ago. That's where that kind of came from. And then what we really want to do this year is we wanted to add something that uh, I think a lot of people want to see when it comes to the aero, and that's uh, functionality and performance. So on the top of the car, we have the roof scoop. Now this roof scoop that we have here is our prototype version. It's kind of like what we had on our Supra when we unveiled that two years ago. It's what we call our prototype. So what you see is what you get. This is what the real version looks like. But just see the, see the timeline, see the crunch. This is our prototype version. So uh, it's not exactly what it will look like in final production, but we're not too far off from releasing that, and that will work for stock bodies and white bodies as well. It's just on the roof. And then fall into the rear, you can actually really see the CAR inspired wheel stands. And on the sides of the car, you can see that the extended boomerang is now wrapped in full carbon. All right, guys, this is my friend uh, Jose at Smokey Bakery underscore Jose. He drives this Pontiac GTO that's built for drifting, and he is one of the Hoonigan Burnyard drivers. Now, Jose and I met at SEMA, and he was kind enough to bring me behind the scenes and show me kind of what goes, goes on at the Hoonigans at one of these shows, which is a lot. So here we are uh, underneath the awning and some shade. So enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Of Uber ride, an entire charter bus for us. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, to the hotel.